morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Firstly, it is Saturday the 6th of February, so we have five days until the David Goggins challenge starts where we'll be running four miles every four hours for 48 hours in boots and body armour, raising money for Mind Charity and the Army Benevolent Fund, the Soldiers Charity. Okay. So we've got five days to go before that. So today is going to be the last day I really do any sort of prep for it. So uh, we're going to be doing, going to the gym, doing some deadlifts, and then also in the afternoon we're going to be going for about a 12 mile very steady state run. Okay, averaging about probably about eight minute miles to be fair, dependent on the route. Uh, I haven't sussed out the route yet, but aiming for about eight, maybe slightly over eight, eight minute miles, something nice and steady, just to give the legs a, a, a good run out. Uh, and then that'll be it for running then. I don't think I'll run until um, we start the challenge next uh, midday, next Thursday, the 11th of Feb. Now also, I found out that I am returning to battalion. So my time at ITC, so the infantry training center is done. So I've only got next week left and then that's it. Uh, so I'm also in the process of packing up my room. This stuff, okay, if you haven't tried it, genuinely, it is a lifesaver. This isn't a paid thing or anything. <laughs> Definitely not that cool. But the fuel protein boosted stuff, oh my God, it's so good. So I've just had, I chopped up a banana in there, whacked some cashew nuts, uh, and it is the thing. Punch this in, give it about an hour to, to settle, go to the gym, bang out some deadlifts, uh, and then probably have some lunch. All right, see you in a bit. gym session done. So I did something called 531 on deadlifts, which is like a training program that my, my friend showed me a few weeks back. And I've got to say, I've seen a lot of progress in doing that. So I worked up to 
uh, 180 kilos for one rep, which is, isn't the strongest I've ever pulled up for a deadlift. Uh, I've never managed to get 200, so it is like the road to 200. I set that as a goal for 2021 and you know, I'm 20 kilos off. I probably could have put another five kilos on that today. So that felt really good. Anyway, um, I'm going through comments, right? And this is, this is gleaming. And someone who I won't name has commented, that, in fact, has commented this, look at this. You are an qualified knob head. I would embrace an Argentine conscript putting, a, putting an bullet into your big biceps. My advice is be Jack. Don't work hard, be greedy, be selfish, and don't let yep like him think that building biceps is an way to win wars. I've seen harder pricks in an old person's home. Go shite. So I read that earlier and I was in absolute bits. I thought it was hilarious. Um, I'd implore you not to take Bob's advice. I can't imagine he had a successful career by being Jack, not working hard, being greedy, being selfish. Um, but yeah, hey, maybe he wasn't even in. Bob, comment in this video if you even served. I'd be interested to know. But uh, hey, cheers Bob, appreciate it. Glad you like the biceps. I've got to say earlier that you know, thanks for everyone that's donated for this David Goggins challenge. Uh, it will make a huge amount of difference. Um, it's been really tough for charities, obviously over COVID and lockdown and everything. Loads of charity events or fundraisers have been canceled. So all your generosity will be greatly received. Um, I really appreciate it as well. So currently we are on 1,318 pounds. I've tried to say uh, a total target of five grand. Um, if we can get it to two grand before uh, we kick off next Thursday for the actual challenge, we are in a really good place. So thanks if you've donated. If you haven't, uh, the links are in the description below. You can donate to either Mind or ABF. No matter how much it is, it's really appreciated. So thanks very much. Head to the link in the description uh, and donate now if you haven't. Um, also, going back to the 531 training, if you don't know what it is, put it into Google. Uh, I've seen some really good progress, so uh, I would definitely advise giving it a go. Also, my form for deadlifts was really bad. Um, I didn't realize how bad it was. I sort of lowered the weight for a couple of weeks and just got used to doing it with a new form. Um, I watched Eddie Hall's video. If you don't know who Eddie Hall is, check him out. He's, he is the beast, literally. Um, go check him out and he does a deadlift video. It's quite long, but he goes into the details of how to deadlift. So slowly but surely, my form's getting better and the weight's going uh, up as well so the strength's going in the right direction anyway time for some food and then uh get ready for a run this afternoon sorry i'm just laughing at bob again so good okay right so i finished up with 11 miles in the end um it literally as i got to like 10.9 it started hailing pretty bad. Um, my hands were freezing cold. And to be honest, England are about to kick off in the rugby and I really couldn't be bothered to do another mile. So I ended it there. A uh, bit quicker than anticipated, I think just because it was cold. Uh, so I, I got moving a little bit quicker. Uh, 11 miles, one, one hour, 24. So average of 7.42 per mile. So like I said, a bit quicker than anticipated. Started off actually, um, legs were pretty... Legs felt pretty um, tired for the first mile or so. And then after that, I think it felt like the temperature properly dropped. Uh, so it was a bit quicker than anticipated. But yeah, felt good. That's it now. So no more cardio. Um, but like I said, completely different ball game. Body armour and boots on. So that'll be fun. Right, we'll leave it there for this week. Finally, if you haven't donated, head to the links in the description and donate now. Thursday, 11th of February is, at midday is when we kick off for the David Goggins Challenge. Head to my Instagram and I'll put the stories, uh, I'll put an Instagram story up for each time we complete the run so you can follow it kind of live as it happens uh, and you can see me and Billy, no doubt, an absolute rag. Right, I'll see you next week.